Hi, welcome to the sec second video training. I'm so excited that you've joined us again. Um, hopefully you, the last 48 hours have been full of making wonderful connections and great contacts. If you haven't finished doing that, then that's your homework again today. Keep re reaching out to people on your launch list. Um, we want to keep the momentum going. We want to keep you moving forward. So um, if you need something or need help, please reach out to us. Today we're going to talk about two main topics. We're going to talk about host coaching. What do you do with the people that are doing a show with you? And time management, how to make the best use of your time. Let's go ahead and get started with um, the host coaching. Now that you've got shows on your calendar, you want to reach out to them. You want to email, you want to text, you want to um, call, you want to stay in touch with your host. The more you stay in touch with, the, with your host, the less likely they are to cancel. We want them to have a wonderful experience and feel like they know exactly what the, to do along the way. One of the things that helps is um, I like to take one day a week where I contact all my hosts, whether I send them an email or I send them a text or a little video message or a Facebook message. I contact them all and say, hey, I'm so excited about our show coming up. Um, so just kind of keep in touch with them there. Also, when you leave them that message or text, let them know, say, hey, I sent you an email. A lot of people don't check their emails anymore. So have them, uh, by sending them that message or text that lets them know they have an email, they can check the, and get the information that you want them to have, whether it's ingredients or uh, whatever information that you're sending them for the show. You want to uh, send them a text to let them know so that it, they uh, have all the information to do that. Something else is website tools. In Consultants Corner, there are some great tools with great templates that you can use to send your host where she can create an account, where she can do evites to her guest. So that's another great resource for you, everything that we have. And even the invitations that are in Consultants Corner for the different theme shows, there are those there as well. Another great app that you can do is called Red Stamp, and that can be used on your phone. It's a free app that makes cute little uh, pictures with cute little graphics that you can send to your host via text and you can let her know. I uh, made this for you. You can use it on Facebook. You can email it to your friends. You can send them a text message. It's a great way to stay in touch with your uh, guest and let them know that you're having a party. It just takes a couple minutes to put together. It's really easy. And then also I offered to uh, mail the invitations for the host if she would like me to. I just need to make sure she gets me the addresses in a timely manner so I can get those in the mail. Uh, with at least two weeks before the show. Something else that's really important about host coaching is you have to tell your host what to do. The more you communicate with your host what's expected, the better. You say things like, you want to invite 40 people because if you do, only about 12 will come. They'll know from you saying that to you want to invite 40 that if they only invite 12, that's not what they're supposed to do because you told them to do 40. And let them know. So, you know, if you only invite 12 people, you'll only have about two people at your show. And you're going to do the same amount of work for two as you would for 12. Why not get the most benefit? And then um, the, the, the key to everything for a successful business is attendance. So you really want to host coach towards attendance. On... Um, when you send her the red stamp, you want to give her some verbiage. You want her to know that people don't respond right away. On average, it takes three personal contacts before somebody responds to or with an RSVP. And um, ideally, you want to do that three different ways, whether it's a text, an email, a personal call, um, or a Facebook, um, or when they see them in person. So they want to do three of those ways to invite each guest because they're going to have a better result that way as well. Something that you want to know is Facebook. A lot of people just want to do Facebook. You want to encourage them to do that as a method of invitation, but not the only method. The reason why is Facebook changes their algorithm all the time. So if they invite a bunch of people and there's some people on there that they don't interact with regularly, what's going to happen is if they don't interact with regularly, that person's not going to see the invitation until that person likes something on their page or post something on their wall and then they will see the invitation. So um, a lot of people don't even see the, e the invitations on Facebook. So make sure that they know that's not the only way they want to invite. You want them to invite in multiple ways. Um, let's see, where am I at now? Personal contacts are going to be the way you get 12 people at your show. 12 is the magic number. That's where you're going to get more people together that are going to be um, loving the products that they see, that are going to use the products they see, and that they're going to sell the products to each other. So think of 12 as your magic number. Think of inviting 40 to 50 people, working with your host, giving her ideas on, and that's one of the homework attachments that has your list of 40 to help you help your host with that. 
As you're talking with your host, remember that you want to tell them what to do. You're the boss, you're the coach. And the more you give them that information, they're gonna get excited. And then the more you suggest to them, they're gonna follow that instructions. You're the expert and they need your help. Now, also, Pampered Chef has some great host coaching guides on Consultants Corner, and I've attached a few of those in your homework below, and I encourage you to check them out. See, figure out what system is best for you. I'm also in, attaching one of my systems so that I know when to touch base with my host so I don't forget in the busyness of life. The main thing I want you to take away from this, though, is be in touch. You want to be in touch with your host. If you go two weeks without reaching out to your host, she's going to forget about you and her, her party's going to cancel. So stay in touch with your host every week. You want her to stay excited. You want her to think about you. You want her to be telling people about it. Um, when you're in touch, send her a message and let her know, hey, this is Angela with Pampered Chef. Please save my number in your phone. I can't wait to party with you on, you know, August 26th. Uh, then next week, send her a message, hey, it's time to send your invitations and uh, attach that cute little red stamp that, that, that she can use. Um, and then as you manage her show professionally like this and treat it like a business, it's going to make her more comfortable and make you more successful because when she has a successful show, then she'll tell her friends about you. And that's what we want to happen. So that's a little bit about host coaching. Now let's talk about time management. In our business, everything we do is a skill. And skills can be learned. They are not something that you have to be born with. And there's nobody that's born knowing, hey, I want to be a pampered chef consultant when they're born. That's something that happens usually later in life. Uh, we all come from different backgrounds and different skill sets, and we have learned different things at our jo previous jobs that can help us here. So everybody comes uh, to the plate with a little bit different information, but we can teach you how to do these things, and that's part of these trainings. Um, some people have more skills in organization. I'm not as organized as some people, but there are some people not as organized as me, and that's okay. With Pampered Chef, something we talk about often is a power hour and also a booking blitz. Uh, I want you to set your timer, the weather well, really very similar. I want you to set your timer for 15 minutes. And in that 15 minutes, you're gonna work on your Pampered Chef business without distractions, with no interruptions, no getting up to go do this or anything like that. It's kind of hard at first, but when you get used to it, especially if you're not used to it, but when you get used to it, it, it becomes a really great way to work your business. When I first started Pamper Chef, I worked a full-time job. So I had my lunch hour and then on my way home from my job to uh, my full-time job to work my business. So what I would do is I would use some of that 15 minutes of that lunch hour and make my contacts, my three contacts a day, or I would use that to host coach. And then on the way home, I would have my booking binder, uh, business binder, excuse me, and use that as other people to contact. So that was my power hour for the day. I, it was broken up into 15 minute sections, segments here and there. Um, I don't, you, you don't need to lock yourself in an office for eight hours a day. I don't expect you to do that. I don't do that. Um, but you do want to work those 15 minute uh, blocks of time. And when you do, it's, um, something that you want to touch your business every day and when you touch your business every day that helps you be more successful and think about this when you're out at events whether it's a birthday party or a church thing or a family event those people are, can be people on your launch list so you're still working kind of your power hour whenever you touch base with them and let them know hey bring a recipe or you know this is what i'm doing think about it five minutes of planning saves you an hour of time so the night before you go to bed, go ahead and make your list of who you want to contact the next day, what you're going to do, and uh, what are the three people that I'm going to contact about Pampered Chef. Then when you reach out and follow up and try to work uh, on what you're going to say to those people, and you'll be happy that you uh, did it ahead. Now the last thing I want to talk about is something called two by two technique. It's my, it's the best thing ever. This is something that's going to help you save a lot of time instead of playing phone tag with people later. When somebody says, hey, I'd love to do a show with you, Instead of allowing them to go back and say, well, let me go check my calendar, I'll get back to you. You're going to say right away, say, let me save us some time. Uh, and then, um, can I let you know the dates that I have open? Grab your business binder open to your calendar and say, um, and this is kind of the two by two technique. Say, would you prefer a weekend or a weekday? And something magic happens. They pick one. So, okay, so after they choose, say, okay, a weekend, great. Would you prefer a Saturday or a Sunday? And then they choose one. Okay, great, a Sunday. Well, I have Sunday, August 28th, or Sunday, August 21st. First, which one works better for your schedule? And then 
they pick one. Now, the beauty of this is that um, you are giving them choices and they're guided choices. And instead of them going home, when they say, I'm gonna go home and look at my calendar, they really don't go home and look at their calendar. So this way you are helping them choose between two dates instead of looking at a whole month. Do, 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 do. And this also helps you to can take control of your time. And this can be done when you're making phone calls, but when you're also at a show and you are um, booking shows whenever you're doing your full service checkout, use this two by two technique. Remember it's which day, the weekend or weekday, uh, this day or this day, this date or this night or this night. So you're gonna go from weekend, weekday, um, day, you know, Monday through Friday or Saturday or Sunday, or, and then the two specific dates. Now, if somebody comes back to you and says, I really need to check those two dates and let you know, you say, okay, and then you follow up within two days and you send her a quick text or give her a quick call. Hey, I know, um, I know things are really busy. I just wanted to follow up and see which, you know, August 21st or August 28th, which would work for you. Um, and what happens is they usually say, oh, I'm so sorry, let's do August 28th. Uh, a lot of times uh, they will do that because they get busy and they forget. So use the two by two technique, it's magic, you'll love it. The last thing we're gonna talk about is a little bit about, about your grand opening. Now that you've scheduled your grand opening show and you're reaching out to people for your practice shows, for your strong start with your six shows in your first 30 days, as you're talking to people and inviting them to be one of your practice hosts, if they say no, invite them to your grand opening show. Just like you'd be host coaching someone else to do, you have to re be reaching out to people in different ways. You're gonna do what you're gonna tell your host. You're gonna call them, you're gonna text, you're gonna email, um, and you have to contact in multiple ways. So by doing it yourself, whenever you are a better host for yourself when you're a consultant as a host, then you're gonna learn better and be able to coach your future host even better because you've done it yourself and you know how it works. The, and it's better use of your time too. So. We want the little 15 minutes of time that you do to add up to a very successful business. You'll be amazed what you can get done in 15 minutes. Another tip I can give you is one from a fellow director and she chooses one night a week that she tells her family, I'm gonna go in my office and lock the door for one hour and uh, works. And what she does is she uh, shuts the door and she gets down that runway. Remember we talked about the airplane last week? She gets down that runway by making sure her business is strong, that she has people to call, that she's done what she told other people that she previously talked to that she's finished um, in the power era and that she has the calendar full the way she wants it to do. Uh, many of our consultants work full-time or part-time outside of uh, Pampered Chef. So using these 15-minute blocks of time or using the power hour or using the tips that you learned today will help you um, work very successfully around everything else that's going on in your life. Have your biz business binder with you at all times so that you have everything you need whenever you're sitting in a carpool line or you're sitting at the doctor's office or you're waiting for this and you can just do, take that 15 minutes and do what you need to do. When you're sitting there watching TV with your husband, you can send out some quick texts to people. Hey, let's get together and do a party. And you can still be reaching out um, when you're sitting there. We're very excited to help you continue continue to stay motivated and um, that's going to be it for our time management and our uh, host coaching there's more in your homework be sure to check all that out and um, if you have questions please let me know and keep up the good work